Hello guys, it's Teja here again. Uh, I'm sorry about the quality of this video, but I'm filming with my phone because I don't have any other device. So it's a Samsung S8 camera. So maybe it doesn't look this good, but it should matter for this video. What I want to address today is that uh, I had some problems while filming and capturing my video on my Xbox and I wanted to share with you the solution I found because maybe some of you really need a solution. The thing is that uh, as you see here I have my OBS opened and uh, you see I have the Xbox uh, starting screen. You see I can browse for it so I'm so you can also see the controller I'm browsing and it works. The thing is that if you look on the TV no signal on the HDMI one and what can we do because the thing is that I didn't find this solution on the internet and let's take it step by step like the first thing you have to do is to be extra sure that uh, the capture card has all the cables connected correctly I know that this may be sound stupid but it's the logical and first thing to check so firstly for, for it to be powered up, you must have this USB cable connected to the laptop and then on the input, which is this one, have the Xbox connected. I have an Xbox Series X, so you have to connect on the input, like if I can show you where it says input but I don't really know if you can see. Okay, HDMI, HDMI input. And on the output, connect the television. And for you to know that it's correct, you also see that there are two LEDs uh, that are uh, on, like the light is on. The thing is that this is not a very professional capture card, but from what I heard, uh, this problem can apply to any capture card whatsoever. What The problem that I had was from the television. Uh, it's a it's a Samsung television that's from 2019 and uh, the solution that I found while just browsing through the through the menus is really simple and you see I have the remote click on the settings button as so select general then select the external device manager you can see on the right it says HDMI black level and input signal plus So is there are the settings that we need because the problem is if I go back It says that there is no signal Come on Okay, you see no signal on the HDMI one and also be careful to be sure That you connect the HDMI to the correct port as you see, it's the bottom and the bottom is the HDM1 1. Okay, so again, we click the settings. We click general, external device manager, and input signal plus. And we click on the HDMI that we are connected to. In this case, HDMI 1. We just click on it. Close, go back, and normally now it should work. Ta-da! So it's really it's relatively a very simple fix. The thing is that from what I understand it does not it ha um the TV I think has something to limit strange connections to the to the television. And in this case, the signal was very weak. It was kind of masked, something like that. I'm not a professional, that's just what I think. And if it still doesn't work, also, again, go in the device manager and uh, be sure that the game mode is on. I found that this also had a very small impact. One time it was off and it didn't work. And when I turned it on, it worked. So guys, this is it. You see now the display on the television is working and also working on the laptop and you see it's working on the TV also. 
Guys, I really hope this worked. And uh, what can I say? Have fun. Uh, do your best to record the best videos. And see you soon. Cheers.